Think about it. Every day there'll be a new piece of evidence. I mean, today, today, um, the whole one of the one of the situations with the uh, members of the Communist Party that he was in business with was revealed. Hmm. It showed that they were negotiating a deal to put together a company called Hudson, and the company was made up of um, uh, Xi Jinping, who is a high-level member of the Communist Party and a and a uh, and an intelligence operative, uh, now, now uh, kind of living at the bottom of the Yangtze River because he's been killed. Mm. Stanley Ho, another member of the Communist Party who since has been arrested, tried and convicted in federal court. First person he called when he got arrested, this Chinese communist criminal, was James Biden because he's James Biden's partner. And then the third Chinese communist is still there. Still there. He's an American citizen but he's, he's alleged to be a spy for the Chinese government. He's a partner with the Bidens. So then on the Biden side, there's the Biden family. There's um, Hunter, James, and James's wife. Except when you look at the bottom of the document distributing percentages, there's a little note that says 10% for H for the big guy. Who's the big guy? Well, I'll tell you who the big guy is. It's easy to figure out. When they're distributing keys for the new office, Top of the list for keys for an office being funded by a Chinese communist is Joe Biden. And then second is Jill Biden. Why are they getting keys to this office? It sounds pretty plausible that he was going to get 10% equity and then his usual 50% and Hunter taking care of expenses. Because the Chinese government was not hiring Hunter Biden. The Chinese are not stupid. They're not going to pay $10 million a year and 50% of the profits to Hunter Biden. They're going to pay it to who they think is the next president of the United States so they can jam him up. 